Hi everyone, it's Miss Rowe and I'm going to show you how to start in scratch today. Um, in schools, uh, especially secondary schools, we teach one hour a week. Some get two hours a week on computer studies, computer science, ICT. So obviously I'll just upload what I can and you, you can have a little have a little play okay so first steps so we are this is the desktop version so you can find that on the scratch website i'll just show you how to do that in a minute obviously this is the one that you put on um you can download on your computer uh you can have um a mac version we can have a windows 10 version but obviously if you've got some of the older operating systems it may not work so in that case we'll just go on to scratch.mit.edu so just go onto that website there and then you can start creating without having a application on your laptop or pc so just click it start creating and then you, there you can see You've got the all the motion blocks um, and the uh, and this is the script area. You've got the tutorials up here if you need them. Obviously, I'd definitely watch this one down here. It'll help a lot. But I'm going to use my desktop version for now. So we've got the cat here, Scratch Cat, which you'll be aware of. So what we're going to do is look in these block menus so we've got motion then we have looks so it, we can say hello we can make a little conversation we can switch our costume and i'll show you how to use that in a moment um we sound start meow we can obviously change or record a new sound as well which i've done on some of my previous videos when i'm making the maze game um events this is normally where you start your um, event so we can say when the green flag is clicked then what happens or when the space bar is clicked a b c d e f g is clicked what happens and that's what you'll um, learn in these videos so we put when the flag is clicked and then I'm going to go back to motion we'll get them to do a bit of moving in this so we're gonna say he moves when green is clicked moves 10 steps we'll say can do a little little meow um so we'll try that now so you can watch him or her here there we go moved so the thing is it's moving very um, stiff isn't he he's not moving properly so it looks a bit silly so what we're going to do now is go to looks and go on next costume so we'll put that here and then we're going to make him look like he's walking so watch his feet Obviously, this sound can get a bit annoying at times. Um, sorry to parents and carers at home, homeschooling. But this is what we have to listen to in our one-hour lessons <laughs> times 30 children. So, obviously, because he is moving there, looks like he's walking. So, it only, obviously, will... Um, move every time you click the flag so what we're going to do is we're going to add a repeat in so we don't have to do that so go into the events and then you can see the different types of um, options there go into control and then you can see here repeat so instead of us having to click each time so green flag green flag don't want to keep doing that so we're going to add the repeat in really simple add the repeat in there and then now it's going to move say ten, we'll say 10 times sorry about the meow because it may get annoying but here we go 
<laughs> so you can see now it's inside a repeat or we also call it a loop. So that is your first little mini lesson. I'd like you to give that a go and then I'll make another video now. Okay, so that is part one. Just have a little play around with the different um, menu options and the different types of block. You're not doing anything wrong and with coding, you, if you add something in and realise, for example, doesn't work like that, it's because you need to make sure that they're connected to each other. So press flag, nothing happens. However, when we connect all the script together, there you go. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helps. I'll add another one now.